Hi, I'm John. Welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at a surprising new announcement for Blood Bowl, introducing a new star player for of all teams, the Halflings. Let's begin. So on today's announcement, we have Trample the Blood Bowl Pitch with the rambunctious Rumble Low Sheepskin. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. So here we have what's making those menacing hoof beats. Is it a Thunder Tusk? Is it a Bull Centaur? No, it's Rumble Low Sheepskin and his cankerous pet ram. All right, so that's right. Blood Bowl's new hotness is a deadly combination of Halfling and Bloodthirsty Ovine as the first Halfling star player to be released since 1990. We'll definitely want to add this unique player to your team. Ooh, dad puns. <laughs> All right, so let's check this out. We have a Halfling on a Ram. You know, the more this season goes on, the more I feel like just how many of the design staff are either a part of or just fans of Guild Ball. If you're not familiar with Guild Ball, go look it up. It's kind of a dead game now, but it incorporated teams with a lot of pets. And uh, that seems to be a direction Blood Bowl's going lately. I'm not sure how I feel about it. On one hand, it's cool. On the other hand, that didn't save Guild Ball, so I'm not sure. I'm just not sure yet. It's interesting, though. I'll give them that. But, uh, and technically, there's been a lot of new miniature games lately that uh, have incorporated kind of a pet theme to characters. So, there's that too. So, let's see what more they have to say about Rumbelo here. So, as a blocker, Rumbelo is famed for terrorizing the Blood Bowl pitch. He tightly grips the reins of Longshanks, the dangerous ram he rides into play, was all too eager to leap headfirst towards the opposition. This stylish sheep even has his own custom helmet in true form of team spirit. All right. I mean, it's it's a well-done looking model, and it's full of character, and I do think it fits right into the halfling team. And I'm just not quite sure how I feel about adding more pets to Blood Bowl. We just got the beer boars for the Norska Rampagers, and now we have this ram for a star player. And it just makes me wonder how many other pet themes are going to start popping up in future teams and future star players. So you can pull the wool over your opponent's eyes with this pair's unique ability, the aptly named Ram, which allows Longshanks to trample any rivals knocked down by the block action once per game. Once per game abilities, I don't know, this has to be really good or I'm not, I'm not sure about it. So let's check it out. Once per game when an opposition player is knocked down as the result of a block action performed by Rumbelow, you may apply an additional plus one modifier to either the armor roll or injury roll. So it's like a limited mighty blow. Sort of. Okay. This modifier may be applied after the roll has been made. So who can the star player play for? This dynamic duo can play for teams associated with the Halfling Thimble Cup, Old World Classic, or World's Edge Super League. And they're the perfect recruits if you're looking to ram through a few touchdowns. All right, so I, I guess it really just depends on what the stats and the cost of this star player will be. Um, I mean, it could be an interesting fit for one of those teams, but I'm not sure. It's a cool looking model. And again, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the pet theme, if that's just going to be a thing now. But, uh, but what are your thoughts? Are you digging this new model? This is likely going to come from Forge World, of course. Uh, it, it does look impressive, but yeah, I, I think I want to see the stats before I decide if I want to move forward with purchasing this one. I don't play halflings, but, uh, I do play old world and I'm not sure about world's edge. So maybe, yeah, I'll have to look back at that team. I haven't looked at that in a while, but definitely it might have a place in old world classic. And I guess, you know, the the Halfling team overall is pretty cheap, unless you start throwing Treeman into it. And depending on what other star players you want to, you know, you typically put in your Halfling team. But yeah, yeah, really interesting choice to make this like the next thing right after the Norse team coming out. Definitely was not expecting it. But again, what are your thoughts? Love to hear those. Please put those in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't yet and you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, it's right there below, and sharing this content. It really helps with the growth of the channel, and it's greatly appreciated. Well, that's it for this one. 
Thanks again for checking it out. Hope everyone's doing well. Be safe, take care, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.